Hey, how's it going guys? In this PyQDFi tutorial, we're going to learn how to track select cells and deselect cells of a table widget. All right, so this is going to be a pretty quick video. And here's my code template. Inside my app constructor, here's the uh, statement to set the uh, windows height and windows width. And here's my vertical box layout object. I have a table widget insert to the layout object. And here's my import statement. From this exercise, I'm only using Q application, Q widget, Q label, table widget, and Q for the code bus layer. Actually, we don't need the Q label class. Now, if I launch my application, and all we have is a table widget embedded to uh, this window. And it's a six by six table. I want to be able to track uh, the cells that I'm selecting and the cells that I deselect. So for example, if I select these four cells, I want to create a method to tell me these four cells location. And when I deselect the cell, I want to uh, track those four cells that I just deselect and gives me the new location of the uh, new select cells. Now let me close this window. And it's a pretty straightforward uh, exercise. So from the table widget, let me insert the table widget object. There's a method called selection model. And this method will return the current selection information. And you have a typo, should be letter O. And from the selection model method, there's an event called selection change event. And we can uh, connect this event to a method. So basically, this event is going to fire whenever we update the uh, cell selection of a table widget. And the selection change event is going to pass the current selection cells information and the, the deselect cells information. So here, let me show you what I mean by that. I'm going to create a method called on selection change. And we're going to have two parameters, select and deselect. Now, if I simply print those two arguments, and this should be uh, deselect. And I'll pass this function to the selection change event. Now, if I select the first cell, and notice that it's giving me two Q item selection objects. So the first Q item selection object represents the row information, and the second Q item selection object represents the column information. And here I want to uh, print the cell's location. So here I'm going to say that for index, so I use IX. Uh, earth index. So for index in select the indexes because we can uh, select multiple cells. I want to print the uh, uh, location. So select cell location. And this is going to be row. And this is going to be column. in that format. I'll pass the index object. I'll print the row location and the uh, uh, column location. And this should be column. Now I'll copy these two lines. I'll just copy and paste. Except that here I'm going to change select to deselect. Now going back to the application. So here I'm going to select the first cell. And my location is going to be row zero and column zero. Now if I select uh, position six and six, and that's going to uh, give me the row index, which is five, and the column index, which is five, as well as the deselect cell location. Now if I select multiple values, 
So I'm going to select uh, these four cells. And that's going to print the uh, uh, select cell location from these four lines. Now if I deselect the cells, and that will turn all the deselect cells locations. All right, so this is everything I want to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found the videos for. And as always, so you guys watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.